and we are back with another video now as you can see here i've got my engine out on an engine stand uh, i'm doing an na plus t build on it so i'm putting a turbo on uh, and i've had the engine out so i could do the valve springs and i've also put a set of uh, oil pump gears in the oil pump so now that they're all done it's time to start putting the engine back together um, so the plan for this video is to get the timing cover back on and also the sump now I've only got a couple of hours this morning to um, be out here so I'm probably not going to get the sump on but I'll definitely get the timing cover on and then I might come out tomorrow morning and do the sump. Now I've kind of planned ahead so when I strip the engine down I've already gone around and cleaned up all the old surfaces with scotch Bright and some brake cleaner. Because it's been sitting here on an engine stand I've just had some oil run down over the last couple of days and drip down onto the surface where the silicon will go for the timing cover. So I'll get all that off and then I'll um, get the timing cover out. Okay, I've given all that a bit of a spray down and a quick wipe, but I might grab another piece of Scotch Bright, just some new stuff, and just give it another quick little scuff, just so it's a nice clean surface. And there we go. Give that a quick wipe down, and we're good to go. Now, I've had this timing cover painted for oh, a good six months, just sitting in the bedroom, under the, under the bed in the spare room. So I've been hanging to get it on the engine. Good to um, finally be able to get it out and chuck it on. Get off there. Get off. There she is. Okay, so if you take a look, you'll see here, this hole obviously is where the crank um, sticks through, the timing cover. Um, I've got to get a seal in there. So I've got on board the seal. So this is a uh, crank seal or front crank seal, whatever you want to call it. Now I've got this one, this one's from Ford, it's a genuine Ford one. So I'll grab a little soft mallet and we'll knock it in. Okay, so I've just taken the seal out of the packet. That's all it is. Um, there's a little Ford logo just there. So me being me, I'm gonna try and put that at the top. It makes absolutely no difference at all, but I'm a bit of a queer for things like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've just set up a soft rag underneath it here, just on the edge of the, um, the little trolley. You don't need to hit these hard, just needs to be tapped in. But I think what I might do just quickly is just um, put a little bit of WD-40 just on the outside there, just to help it slide in. Okay, I'll just put a little bit of WD on the outside there. And I'll line my Ford logo up with the notch on the top, just for my own mentals. Like I said, it makes absolutely no difference where this goes. I have seen people uh, have been able to just push these in with your fingers. So hopefully that might be the case. If not, I've just got a little sock mallet here, so I'll be able to tap it in. I'm gonna to have to put the phone down to do it because I want to get it in nice and square, but we'll come back when it's in. And there we go, she's in. Real easy. Just gave it some taps with the um, the soft hammer all the way around, just tapping it all the way, keeping it nice and even, and making sure it's sitting flush and the same sort of level all the way around. Okay, as you can see, I've flipped over the cover now. I've got all the bolts out ready to go. So there's eight bolts that hold this thing on. And there's also, uh, two dowels that need to go into the cover itself so if you look on the block here um, the dowels just sit into the block here just like this they locate the um, the cover itself just like that now in a perfect world you think you could just get the cover and slide it on and they'll go in the holes nicely but um, that's not the case they get caught up and you got to sort of bang it on which I don't really want to go doing so I'm going to put the dowels in the timing cover now um, they will hold themselves in place. You just got to push them down into the cover so they're, they're flush on the outside. So if you can see there, it's poked through the outside. So I'll just push that back till it's flush on the outside. And that's all you need to stick through. So I'll do the same with the other one. Let's get it in. And that's flush on the outside. I can feel that with my finger. So they're in, ready to go. Now this is the silicon I'm going to be using, Permatex Ultra Black. It's meant to be uh, oil resistant. I have used it on a sump once before and had no issues with it, so I'm going to go with it again. So I've got all the bolts here ready to go. My apologies, there's 10 bolts that hold it in. I forgot the two long ones at the top. So the plan now is to get some silicon on the back of this cover. I'm going to have to do this with two hands, so I'll be putting the phone down, and then we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so just put some silicon on. You don't need a whole lot because it is two machine uh, surfaces going against each other. So it's just to sort of get that seal in between. So now I'll put the phone down again 
grab the two longer bolts that go through the top. As you can see, I've got the dowels sticking out. So I'm gonna line up the dowels and hopefully the two bolts at the top and get this thing on. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Um, the two bolts at the top, they're nice and long. So they stuck through and I've got a little bit of thread on them just to hold it on. The dowels are lined up nicely. So now I'll push it up hard and get all the bolts in. Okay, just going around the whole thing with a little ratchet, just a quarter drive ratchet. Done everything by hand so I can feel it. Put on just enough silicon. Like I said, you don't need a whole lot. Um, you don't have to go crazy with it. Now, the way the gasket sealant that I've got works is it's sort of done in two stages. So you need to nip up the bolts like I've done here. And you need to see a bead of silicon sort of squeeze out or splurge out all around the, um, the area, which it's done all the way around, both sides. Um, and then you've got to leave it for an hour to set and then come back an hour later and then you can do your final torque settings. So I'll come back in an hour, but uh, I'm pretty happy with all the bolts are right now. It's sitting nice. Gasket all around, like I said, it pulled up bloody beautifully. Now I did want to get the sump on today as well, but I don't really want to put the sump on until I know the timing cover is all um, torqued up and finished, just so there's no risk of any movement down the bottom. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. But yeah, we'll come back in an hour. Alrighty, back out in the shed. It's been about an hour now. Just about to get ready for work. Um, I've got my little Bible here with all the torque settings. So I'm gonna torque these up to spec now and then timing cover will be done. And there we go, timing cover is all on. I got a little bit pissed off because the um, my pretty painted uh, timing cover, the bolts had chewed into the paint, just where they um, bolt in, as you can see there. So I got pissed off. But meh, should be fine. Good thing is that's another job done, ticked off the list. So now tomorrow I can come out and flip the engine upside down and get the sump on, get the uh, oil pickup in first. I've still got to put that in and get the sump back on. And once that's all done, I can finally start making up the water and oil lines for the turbo and start looking at putting this thing back in the car.